I want to slide down that. <laughs> the fuck? You start with house money. Huh? You start with house money? What do you mean? Oh, Lindsay gave you the chip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta figure out which casino this goes to, but... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Get in the car, man. The football thing, the pool. Yeah, you wanna do it? Hell yeah. Well, it's been a rough few weeks in my personal life, so what a great way to distract myself and get out of town for a few days. Thank God I already had this trip planned, so it worked out great. Me and my buddies are going to Vegas. Oh, we got a minivan. There's like seven seats in this bitch. <laughs> That's some nice people we meet. I know, I'm about to tell Cody he doesn't have to drive if he wants to fly. Upon arrival, you know we had to stock up on supplies. <laughs> Uh, now let's get checked into the Airbnb before heading out for the evening. Oh, look at this place. Uh, four bedrooms upstairs. Carrie, you gonna be okay, Bob? See, Clay, I got the whole package right here. Come here, don't talk about your package. Money. Money and condoms, is that what you said? Viagra. Oh. Two levels. Enough of the tour, it is time to party. Let's go. And if we're starting the party at Fremont Street, you know we're gonna hit the zip line. Oh yeah, I just strapped Joe Gurry. Are you scared? We haven't even started yet. Hey, you're a You decided to fly. Hey, no, you're an adult. You can make full decisions on your own. I'm strapped to this motherfucker, ain't I? If you were able to let someone talk you into doing it, you wanted to do it too. Oh, I know. Man, I'm feeling really stupid now. Not really. It's gonna be fun. Poor Clay, I can't get him over there, but struggling. You are? Let's go. first time I flew on the zip line in Vegas, they didn't even have the option to fly laying down Superman style, so we had to do it this way. Why are you going so fast? You're not as fat as me! Woo! Holy shit! Now we're getting some fucking speed, holy fuck. Woo! I can see down your shirt! Paid a little bit. To rate your experience, what would you say? I get a 10. A fucking 10. What a perfect cap off to our arrival in Vegas. Tomorrow is going to be a big day, though. Hey there, sweet tits. Ooh. Look great. Man, about knocked over some shit. Come on, sweethearts. If you want a guide on an unconventional trip to Las Vegas, this is it. I've been to Vegas five times now, so I wanted this entire trip to be centered around things that are kind of out of the ordinary. Well, here's our first stop, Red Rock Canyon.
Yeah, that's where I want to go. Let's go. Guess I'm the only one that's climbing. Let's go. Create our own path, guys. We're gonna get to the top, though. Fuck. Is this wall? This is unfortunately as high as I'm gonna be able to go. One second. Uh, going down should be the fun part. Yeah, this is, this is something I've always wanted to take my kid to do. Although this is my third visit ever to Red Rock Canyon, it's my first time ever being able to take some of the trails and uh, climb some of the rock structures. It's a great place. It's it's known as like the mini Grand Canyon. It's only a couple miles outside the strip, so I definitely recommend it on your next trip to Vegas. And you know exactly where my first lunch was gonna be spent. Just the perfect refuel for the next adventure. Seven Magic Mountains is a renowned public artwork located in the desert just outside of Las Vegas. It features seven 30 to 35 foot high day glow totems comprised of painted locally sourced boulders. Pretty awesome and a nice place to get some cool drone footage. I've been in Vegas for 24 hours and I've yet to go to the strip. Now it's time. Carrie, we thought you were dead. We thought for sure you passed away. That was the biggest shit of all time. It actually was very unsatisfactory in my mind. Really? We had a few hours to burn before our big plans for the evening, so I always enjoy going to the gardens at the Flamingo. That way we can have a few drinks and just kind of hang out for a little bit. But trouble soon followed. How the fuck did we lose Carrie? Drinking can lead to missing friends. We found him. Carrie Webb! <laughs> There's a lot of people worried about you. Just in time for our big plans of the evening. Hell yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I just ran into that goddamn pole. Oh, come on, I was blown away by the Ferris wheel. These pods were huge. You and all your buddies, all you can drink. And it was awesome because I met up with a bachelor party of a wedding I was getting ready to DJ. Oh, we're already, we're already pretty fucking high. We haven't even, well, we haven't even moved like an eighth of the goddamn turn. Oh, I told you if you see somebody doing it up in the league. I mean, look at that. Look out here and look up. Yeah, we'll be, we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna need about three more of these Jack Cokes before we get to the top, guys. Wow. <laughs> Almost to the top. Oh, shit. What a great nightcap to a busy and fun day in Las Vegas. Go, baby. I oh. had to make sure the eggs are right. Sorry about that. That was phenomenal. Thank you so much. Oh, are we sure this wasn't the buffet, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing two buffets. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Beaver, you scared the fuck out of me. If you're going to spend your day driving through the desert to the Hoover Dam, you should probably do it in style. Tighten the quick pit stop. Oh, that's the. Uh... Like me, didn't That's it? like me, didn't look how much has gone down. That's crazy. Very much left of it. It was about an hour long drive through the desert, but we arrived. The first to do was the sky bridge overlooking the Hoover Dam. Holy shit. We then headed inside to check out the museum.
Then we went to the observation deck to get up close and personal. I'd like to see, I'd like to see you. Oh, buddy. Driving to the dam in the desert in a slingshot was such a great idea. You guys don't even get a perspective here from the GoPro, so I had to pull aside just to get some drone footage, just so you can see what exactly we are driving through here. It is absolutely beautiful. This area of the country is a must-see for everybody. But it was time to head back to the strip because not only was it time for dinner and I needed some barbecue, but we had a special guest arriving this evening. I'm, I'm Liam towards the What about you, Beaver? You got chicken nuggets on there? No, no, no. Well, they do. But they do have whiskey. <laughs> Hold on, did you just drive from Arizona to come see me for my birthday? Let's go! You guys ready to go party? And after these ladies decided to find their interview, we headed back to Fremont Street to enjoy some good drinks, to enjoy some great food, and of course, prime people watching. Don't do drugs, guys. A great end to day three. So I had a little too much to drink last night and forgot to charge my GoPro. So I'm gonna attempt to tell you our last full day in Vegas story through Instagram stories, cause that's all I have. So here we go. I purposely didn't finish my meal at the Heart Attack Grill just so I could get spanked. Oh, that doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. Oh. Don't look, Matt. Oh. Holy shit. I went and rode the roller coaster at New York, New York. Uh -oh. We walked the strip a little bit, enjoyed some drinks, and felt completely out of place as six rednecks at the Bellagio Gardens. We got to see the Bellagio Fountains during the day, but nonetheless, it's still the Bellagio Fountains. Our next stop though, we got to watch Thursday night football at a pool party and had a few drinks. It doesn't get any better than that. What a great way to end our vacation in Vegas. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you so much again for watching.